Do you dream of creating eye-catching videos, but you get bogged down by the complicated editing process? What if you could edit as easily as browsing the internet? I found three web-based tools that make editing easy, accessible, and fun, and one of these is perfect for you if you have trouble making eye contact with a camera lens because you're either reading from a teleprompter app or you're looking at your face on your camera screen. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned creator, this is the video for you if editing is something that you have to do, but not necessarily something that you love to do. Let's dive in. Let's start off by answering the question, why web-based? If it's web-based, there's no software to download and install, it doesn't slow down your computer because it's using up all of the resources, and it doesn't matter what you're using. It doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Mac. So you can't use Final Cut Pro if you're using a Windows machine. This eliminates that problem because you're doing it all in the cloud on the company's website. You're using their server and their bandwidth, and you can access it from any computer. So if you often work on your desktop computer, computer like I do, but then later I'm sitting on my laptop on the couch, I can be editing from there as well. I don't have to worry about moving files back and forth because I'm simply logging into the website to be able to work on my project. And that brings me to WeVideo. I discovered WeVideo several years ago, and this is what I've been using ever since. I love it because it's very user-friendly, it's intuitive, and it can scale. So I can start with the very inexpensive version, I can add multiple users to it, and when I bump up to the professional plan, now it includes a ton of stock footage to use as B-roll. This eliminated the need to have to have a subscription to any other stock footage website. So if money is a concern and you don't want to buy more than you need to, the WeVideo professional or business plan could be a great option for you. Here are some of my favorite features of using WeVideo. Number one, I can film directly into the software app and that's how I'm recording this video right now. I open up WeVideo, I start a new project and I say record. I can either record my screen, my web webcam or both at the same time. In WeVideo, I can do a voiceover where I am narrating what we're seeing on screen. Because I do have the business plan, I have all of this stock footage that I can use as B-roll or sound effects or music or any other stock photos that I would want to use inside my edit. This saves me a ton of time because if I am looking for someone who is happy on the phone or looking upset or looking shocked or dancing with joy, all I have to do is go inside their media library and search for what it is that I'm looking for. And when I see one that looks good, I just drag and drop it right onto my timeline. Piece of cake, never have to leave the program to go look for it somewhere else. So I love WeVideo, and that's why I've been using it for four or five years myself and for my team. But there are a couple of cons. Number one, it's not incredibly robust. So as your skills grow and you become a better editor, you may want something else. You may want something like Premiere Pro or Final Cut that has all of these additional plugins. So if you plan to really up level your editing eventually, you may outgrow it. But for the casual user who doesn't want to spend 15 hours editing a single video, it's amazing. The other downside is that because it is on their server, if they have a lot of traffic, and it's running slow, that's something you just have to deal with. Sometimes I'll be working on my video, I go to hit save, it says thinking, 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 thinking. Uh, do you want to continue to wait or do you want to exit and come back later? Now this can be an annoying problem, I'm not going to lie, but it's something that I'm willing to deal with because of all of the other great features that WeVideo has and they've recently upgraded their program to what they're calling the next gen version. So I know that as they're putting more resources into developing their product, Product, they're probably upgrading their hardware on the back end as well. At least I hope so. I will link to WeVideo and all of the software in the description box down below. So if you want to give them a shot yourself, go ahead and feel free to use those links down below. These are affiliate links. And when you use them at no additional cost to you, you sometimes get some additional free stuff and it helps support the channel so that I can continue to make content like this for you. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's move on to repurposing content. This is one that I discovered several months ago and I have been hooked ever since. 
I make a lot of long form content for YouTube, but I have not been very excited about making YouTube shorts simply because it was going to be a lot of extra work on top of what I was already doing. But YouTube wants us to make shorts and they are heavily promoting them to their audience. So when I published a long form video and it might get a couple hundred views in the first 24 hours, if I make a short, it's not unheard of to get 2000 views in the same time frame. But who has time to make shorts on top of what we're already doing with the long form content and that's where video.ai comes in. With video AI, I can say, use this video that's already on my YouTube channel. I copy and paste the link. Then it uses artificial intelligence to go in and pick out a whole bunch of 60 second or shorter snippets from this content. You know how Gary Vee talks about repurposing content, making one video and turning it into a hundred different pieces of content? This is how we can do it automatically automatically without significantly increasing your workload. I recently held a conference in Florida and I had two days worth of sessions where I was on stage for a minimum of half an hour at a time, if not longer. And I had all of this video footage that I wanted to repurpose into short form content. If I had had to go through manually and choose the 15, 30, 60 second snippets to use, it would have taken me forever. And if I was paying somebody on my team to do it, it would cost me a lot of money to have to outsource that task. This tool does it all for you. I take my long form horizontal video from YouTube, put it into video.ai, it resizes it to be in the vertical format, and then it chooses all of the clips that it thinks are the most exciting, the most interesting, the juiciest nuggets of information, and changes those into short form content for me. I did nothing except upload the video. It automatically transcribes your video and puts the captions on the videos for you. It has a bunch of different templates, so you just choose the layout, the background, the desired color scheme. You can even save your favorites as a brand kit, so now every time you create a new video, it will use your predefined template so that you don't have to do it manually with every video that it creates. Video.ai is amazing if you're doing a lot of repurposing of long form content into vertical short form content. I cannot tell you the amount of time that it has saved me personally. Before I started using Video.ai, I hardly ever repurposed my content because it simply took so long to do. Now, that's no longer my excuse. We use it every single week and it's become a very indispensable tool for my team. Now, earlier I told you that there was an amazing tool if you like to read from a teleprompter app or you just are in the habit of looking at your face on your camera screen and not looking at the camera lens. And then when you play the video back, you're not making eye contact with the camera lens, which is very off-putting to the viewer. This next tool completely solves that problem and I still can't even wrap my head around how exactly it works. But again, it's using a AI. Veed is another web-based editor that will let you do captions and editing and music and audio and all of the things. But one of my favorite features is that it will fix where your eyes were looking. So here is an example. I uploaded a video where I specifically was not looking at the camera lens. I was looking at my face on screen. I filmed the video and I looked at my face on the camera screen on purpose because I wanted to try out this feature. Once my video is uploaded to Veed, I simply click on the video in the timeline and click eye contact. It takes a few seconds and when it's done, it changes where your eyes were looking. Now I cannot change where your face is looking. So if your head was to the side, it can't turn it for you. And if you were looking down, it can't raise your chin. But if you were looking down and all you need to do is fix where your eyes were looking, the AI does it for you. It's pretty amazing. We've been using Veed a lot lately, testing it out when we've been using it to put captions on our videos. We've been adding music. We've been doing transitions. We've used it as a full editing tool the same way that we've been using Wii Video for years, just because we wanted to be able to compare. And Veed has some pretty amazing features that I'm very impressed with. Again, I will put a link to Veed and all of the other programs in the description box below. So if you are looking for a new editing program, I encourage you to check these out. If you found this roundup helpful, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. It really helps these videos get shown to more creators just like you. And then tell me in the comments, do you prefer a web-based tool or do you like software that's installed on your own personal computer. I love hearing what people are using. So tell me what you use down below.